Just before we get started, here's a few things that you'll never hear on a job hunt. Boy, I can't wait to start my job search today. Gosh, I wish I could work all of these jobs at once. Full-time mustache model needed. Pay is generous. Ooh. Hi, Kelsey Toner here from BeABetterGuy.com. So perhaps you're here because you're searching for a tour guide job, or maybe you just want to learn a little bit more about the industry. Either way, I can tell you that there are hundreds and thousands of different tour guide jobs all over the world, and there's more and more every year. The World Tourism Organization recognizes that global tourism is one of the fastest growing sectors of the global economy. So that's good news. That doesn't necessarily mean that the job hunt is going to be easy, or even that there's necessarily guiding jobs in the place you want to work. That being said, I put together this video with a few questions that you'll want to ask yourself when looking for tour guiding jobs. Plus, at the very end, I've got an awesome bonus for you to help on your job hunt. First question, do you want to work in your own country or travel internationally? And this is a pretty big question, and it's going to depend on factors like, is there actually tourism in the area you'd like to work? But as a general rule, it's easier to get hired as a guide as a local or a national from the country in which you'd like to work. And this makes sense too, if you think from the traveler's perspective, somebody who grew up here and spent their whole life here is going to have all kinds of insights into the history, the culture, and etc. But that being said, there's lots of opportunities where you can work internationally. I've had tours in Paris that were delivered by New Zealanders who were studying in Paris, uh, or people from, the, from Poland who were working in Croatia or the Czech Republic. Sometimes I've met national guides who escort groups, say from South Korea, so there'd be Korean guides who escort them on trips around the world. So those opportunities exist as well. Two, do you want to be a tour director or a tour guide? Now, I made a previous video that explained this distinction, which I'll put a link to below. But very briefly, I think of tour guides as the folks who are with travelers and guests for shorter periods of time, like an afternoon tour or maybe a tour that lasts a couple days. Tour guides will tend to have a sort of specific knowledge on a particular topic, let's say winemaking, if it's a winemaking tour, or the architecture of a city, if it's an architectural tour of a city, or something like the Colosseum, if you happen to be leading tours there. Tour guides can also have specialized skills. If you think of a whitewater rafting guide, they're probably going to have some paddling skills and rescue skills that go along with that guiding job. Tour directors or tour managers, on the other hand, will generally facilitate the logistics of a longer tour or an event, something like a conference. Now, these can be things like helping with the logistics of uh, transportation, of passport and border controls, airport pickups, getting groups and escorting them to restaurants, to their accommodation, and oftentimes they'll work with multiple guides. So if I'm facilitating a group or leading a group through an itinerary, we might have a winemaking tour with a winemaking guide, a local guide on Monday, and then Tuesday we'll go have that tour of the Coliseum. Now, much like a tour guide, being a tour director, you can work internationally, escorting groups on international uh, itineraries, or you can do it in your home country. Most major cities will have something called a destination management company. So if there's a big event or a conference happening, they'll work with tour directors and tour managers to help people get out and see the highlights of their country. Now, you want to think about this distinction, but don't get too hung up on the terms. There's lots of companies that use those terms pretty interchangeably, and there's sometimes roles that you can get hired for that are kind of a blend of both of them. Three, what type of tours would you like to lead? Because the tourism industry is so diverse these days, there's lots of options when it comes to guiding. You know, if you get a job as a brewery tour guide, you are going to have a very different job than if you're a fly fishing guide working in some remote wilderness camp. So when it comes to your job hunt, think about what you what experience you would like to facilitate or what you would enjoy doing on a day-to-day -day basis and also what skills might make you a good candidate for that job. Now to give you some ideas I'm gonna put a link below to 101 different tour ideas. This is gonna give you a sense of just how many different tours are operating out there right now and under each one of those headings there's some links to actual companies who lead tours in that area. Four, do you want to work for yourself or work for someone else? And there are pros and cons to both choices. Now, working for yourself, you're almost certainly going to have to put in more effort, but the trade-offs of having more freedom, flexibility, and control over your own business might be worth it to you. Now, if you're freelancing and doing this yourself, you'll need to be the one responsible for things like licensing, insurance, marketing, sales, and customer service. But these days, it's becoming easier and easier to partner with people like TripAdvisor and Viator, GetYourGuide.com, and Peak, just to name a few of the big players who are online 
um, online tour agents basically who will market and sell your tours for you for a small commission. So there are also peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces. Think of the Airbnbs, but for tours and activities. There's all kinds of websites that are popping up, some of them working, some of them not working, but I'll put a link below to another resource, which is over 90 different websites where you can list your tour or activity online. But if you're interested just in guiding and sort of facilitating that experience and you think that's what you would enjoy the most, it's probably the best bet just to work for another company and let them handle the rest. Five, do you need a license to work where you want to work? In many highly touristed areas, you actually need a permit or a license to be a tour guide. These are sometimes controlled by national governments or sometimes by municipal or city governments. Now, in other places, in other parts of the world, it really varies quite a bit. Sometimes you don't need a license at all. For example, here in Canada, you can work as a guide in Vancouver, in Toronto, and the vast majority of Canada without any kind of license. However, if you want to be a guide in Montreal or the city of Quebec, you do need a permit. So the best thing to do is to look into your local situation. A good place to start is asking other guides who are already working in that space. And two, try and contact a national tour guide association because they can help with these types of questions. Six, would you prefer to work for a smaller tour company or a larger tour company? Smaller tour companies tend to offer more seasonal employment. There tends to be a lot more options to choose from because there's just more smaller companies out there. Uh, and lastly, you tend to have closer relationships with your employers, with your bosses, and even your fellow employees. Now, larger tour companies can sometimes provide more stability, more work, sometimes better pay, um, and they can also occasionally provide opportunities for promotion or developing your career. Now, if you're interested in working internationally as a global guide, then these large multinational companies are definitely the way to go. Seven, what skills can I work on that will make me a strong candidate? Companies are always looking for enthusiastic, personable and pleasant people to hire as tour guides. If you're a great presenter, if you are organized and you've got a good memory, those are all traits that help. And if you're comfortable leading tours in multiple languages, well, that is gonna be a huge asset for you, as well as any experience you've got in the service industry. But if you're interested in developing those skills or learning more about what makes an incredible tour guide, you should definitely check out www.beabetterguide.com. I hear that site's amazing. Now, I can't quite help you with your local job search just because there's so many tour guide companies out there. But as a bonus, I've assembled a list of 63 of the largest tour companies that hire guides and tour leaders every single year. You absolutely want to check out this list if you're interested in working for one of the larger tour companies. And I think it's going to be an amazing resource to help you find a job of your dreams. Now, to get that PDF, just use the link below and join up the Be A Better Guide community. Thank you so much for tuning in today. In the comments below, please, any other advice you would have for job seekers out there, websites that you found useful or resources, please post them in the comments and share this video if you're inspired. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you all the luck in the world with your job hunt and I'll see you next time. Okay, so I did find one more company for you here. This is um, Brighton Sewer Tours. So they operate in Southern UK. Uh, looks like they've got award-winning tours, visitors from all over the world, been running for 50 years. And I guess you get to wander knee deep through decades of British fecal matter. So you can put that one in the maybe pile.